Nick, I want you and Daisy both to come over to my house. I'd like to show her around. Can't you see who this guy is? With his house, his parties, and his fancy clothes. Is all this made entirely from your own imagination? It kind of takes your breath away, doesn't it? Who oh, is this Gatsby? All of the partnerships that we have in the film uh, come out of the story or come out of references or associations that Fitzgerald had during his lifetime. What was really interesting about Brooks Brothers for me was that they were actually the purveyor of Fitzgerald's clothes. And he in fact had a lengthy correspondence during his lifetime with Brooks Brothers. It was a fantastic link between the book itself and a purveyor of men's clothes that still existed to this day. I was very lucky with Brooks Brothers to be able to collaborate with them. What they allowed me to do was design not only the principal costumes, but also all of the background menswear, and to draw on their archive and the historical truths of everything that Brooks Brothers made. One of the quintessential accessories of the 1920s is a straw boater. Brooks Brothers has continuously sold straw boaters and I think it's one of their very good selling items still to this day. And so that's something that we've made great use of in the film. See, I thought you ought to know something about my life. I didn't want you to think I was... Well, I didn't want you to think I was just some nobody. I think what Brooks Brothers and I managed to do is really underline the character differences between each of the men in the movie. You see Nick, who starts off being very well educated, but relatively unsophisticated, who becomes sophisticated through the process of becoming in contact with the other characters in the film. You see the dandy who is Gatsby, the immaculate dresser, somebody who bases himself on English royalty. It's pretty, isn't it, old sport? Haven't you ever seen it before? Oh, it's all a custom job. Supercharged in. With Tom Buchanan's clothes, he is the picture of the establishment. Blue pinstripe suits, blue shirts, club ties. Tom Buchanan, in the book, is described as being Yale educated and, and part of the upper echelon of, of the Yale society and, and that he and Nick were part of a secret society called the Skull and Bones. Now what's here after dinner? You and I were going to town. Can't. Catch up with the old wolf pack. Big day on the job tomorrow. Nonsense. We're going. CM lined all of my suits with a, a skull and crossbone. And you'll probably never see it. Although I might have to do that a few times in the movie just to, just to show her off, you know. The man in the pink suit went to Oxford. Tom. I said I went there, didn't I? We were very lucky with Brooks Brothers to have access to their vast manufacturing arms, which allowed the clothes to have a kind of a stylish crispness that often doesn't come about when you're actually trying to cobble it together from vintage pieces or from hire houses. Everyone looks like their clothes were made to measure, and that certainly is the world that the Gatsby is set in.